A new HD0 video transmitter is finally out. Is it going to have improved performance? Well, just the fact that there's another option on the block. Hopefully, the first of many manufacturers to dive in and start working a little bit more with the HD0 ecosystem. Fox here has been my preferred electronics supplier for a couple of years now, and that's just because they seem to be plentiful. Get them when you need them. It actually works, and it's reliable. What everybody's going to want to know is it smaller. Here is the Race V2 that's installed in my HD0 Open Racer with the 90 nano camera on board. And as you can see, it's actually very, very close in size. This is 34 millimeters square. Box here is 34 millimeters by 32 millimeters. Side to side, if you arrange it with both connectors pointing in the same direction as your camera, shrinking down two millimeters hanging off the side, which was one of the most significant complaints of the original race v2 the whoop vtx this is essentially 32 and a half millimeters square so it's the same width now side to side one and a half millimeters shorter front to back now both of these go up to 200 milliwatts but the main difference with the foxier version is that it's going to have potentially a bit more robustness now it does continue to have like the race v2 pads along the side it also has the very convenient holes in it to be able to secure both your maybe connector and your ufl larger size m3 20 by 20 holes Part of the complaint of the original race V2 was that there was some critical components on the edges that stuck out very far that could get knocked off in a crash. So they have alleviated that on some of the corners, but because of the reduction in width, you should be eliminating some of that risk of smashing off these tiny micro components. This is my nine spot open racer that's currently analog. So I'm gonna go ahead and print a new pod for this sucker that we have here. This is the HD0 Nano 90 pod. You can see it's a little bit wider on the sides in order to protect that VTX. Perfect for this slightly thinner one. Let's go ahead and start converting it over. Now, why is this such a big day for HD0 fans? That's because this VTX from Fox here represents the first video transmitter made by a company other than HD0. As we all know, Carl said many times before, he doesn't want to be a chip manufacturer. That is not his expertise. His expertise is developing this technology. And ideally, he would like for all the other companies to be able to make their own video transmitters and their own cameras and their own antennas much the same way that analog has worked since the beginning of time. And this is the first step. Yes, Voxner and Runcam have both dabbled in making HD0 cameras in one way or another. Something weird about how the 90 is only made by Runcam. I really wish Voxner would make one of those. And if this is successful, that could be the first step in having a real camera made by other options and having more video transmitters. Here's a little bit of information directly from Carl himself at the Mayhem team race about the future direction of HD0. Today's race is is the most HD0 pilots we've seen at one event, Carl. A lot of times, four out of the seven pilots all flying HD0. What do you think? I think there's more adoption from it for HD0 because of the 90 because of camera and HD0 cargo coming out. It's kind of an advantage. So now that adoption rates are up, what's the next goal for HD0? Where are you going to go from here, Carl? This year, I'm going to focus on the image quality and uh, penetration. I was raising right now 90 hertz camera. I want to have more choice for the 90 hertz camera yeah. because right now I have only one. Yeah. And the current VTX, the VTX R2, the kind of big, I want to have a smaller one. And for the freestyle VTX, it's a little bit too big. I want to have a smaller one too. But those are in process. It should be released soon. Goggles selling out almost immediately. Are you happy that they've sold out and continue to sell out as soon as they come in stock constantly? This seems to be the biggest year yet for HD0 adoption. Yes, of course. But we have a lot of pressure because the production, we have some issues. We are going through these issues to work with the optic supplier and uh, a lot of work. So everyone just work. be patient. They're coming as fast as you can make them, shipping them out. People are getting them every week, so. They put in the order 
Oh, they already have the cargo. If they have the problem, don't worry, I will fix it for them. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're not, I, I'm we're here. I, I'm going nowhere. Yeah, I will take care of it. Now we're seeing these new products hit the market. We've already seen Bond and Fly manufacturers jump on from all across the board. We're seeing companies like Foxier and Emacs make, make not only Bond and Flies, but goggles and monitors so that you can view HD Zero yourself. This is a big step, guys. I have run my Race V2 video transmitter from HD Zero pretty hard through a lot of big races it helped me to get fifth place on that big race the other day on the texas long track but going forward i'm probably going to just go ahead and take the space savings since the prices are equal and hopefully this will encourage foxier to continue developing and please foxier please give us your own version of a predator 90 fps camera with an ultra wide lens man that would be so nice foxier also has a new all-in-one board this f745 board has all of the nice digital built-in features and it features an MPU 6000 beautiful gyro 2 to 6s 45 amp. It actually has some decent size motor pads all around the sides, nice arrangement of FETs, regular style USB and connector to conveniently connect to HD0 or DJI. In the box, it comes with XT30, XT60. I don't know if I would recommend racing this on full success, but you certainly could if you plan to do RPM limiting on there maybe freedom spec that is pushing it though so until somebody else proves that that can be done i'm gonna go ahead and stick with running it on something smaller this would also be perfect for pretty much most cinewoops even up to 6s i would be comfortable running it on that i'm gonna be slapping this into a build very soon so stay tuned for that what do you guys think in the comments is this convincing you to double down on hd0 with this i'm expanding my five inch fleet from one hd0 open racer to three and i already have three hd0 tiny trainers the conversion over to hd0 is continuing Oh, fucking gay stop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 